is out as well. A couple of gins were going to be sampling tonight. <laughs> Hendrix is actually my favourite gin, it's Rocco. So I didn't have any smaller bottles of it, so I just used an empty Hendrix one. So it's Rocco. Jawbox, it's actually a Titanic one, it's a new one. Belfast. Gin, uh, Malfi, it actually is Malfi Orange, and then London Dry is London Dry. Surely has a couple of tins of cider as well. All the tea and coffee materials, uh, olive oil, and a new cup. So, what I'm going to do is a brilliant cup. If you're interested in that, you can give me a shout and I can point you in the right direction. And obviously, the Jawbox cup, which isn't a tin. around into the tent itself you come in here and that's us completely out so messy pup as always got some crisps and stuff in there some coffee for the morning so coffee grind um i have a wee new coffee maker that i'm going to try out it's basically just a wee filter that you clip onto the cup and then put it down and just filter your coffee through so i like a good cup of coffee in the morning so i'm going to try that out hopefully it works i have a gel just a cup basically in a gel burner from Transy, it's only about £12. I brought gas as well because I was going to do the steak on the gas stove, but as usual, I forgot my gas stove. I think that's two in a row now, I forgot, so Sturdy's going to bail me out with that, or else I might just use the gel. Um, yeah, so tonight's just steak sandwich. It's 6th of May, it's saying. Now it's after the 6th of May, it's well after, but as soon as I got this, I stuck it in the freezer because I knew I was going to use that for the first camp. Um, I'm just going to have a steak sandwich tonight. Um, I've got lemonade and then water, water, windshield. Something new as well is the Mavic Mini, which I don't think I'm going to get out tonight, but I'll try it anyway. Hopefully the wind dies down and I can get out, but if not, we will try it in the morning. So it's usually just all the usual gear. So that's the newest of a couple of down jackets here. All my nighttime gear, I've got gloves, um, a hat. Under long johns is what they call them. Rob's sleeping bag, jacket, and thermal rest, which we were just discussing. But I think we're going to sell these, go for something else. It's just an absolute lung buster pumping it up. I know we can get batteries and all for it, but I'm thinking of going for an X bed and getting the wee pillow or like the bag with it that actually pumps it up. Something else which I haven't actually reviewed, but I said I was going to, I paid for it obviously, is an Olight. So I have the H1R, which is a great retort. I think it's up to 600 lumens when you have it on full. Um, rechargeable as well, you just clip it on, it's magnetic. So you can charge it with your battery pack, along with another head torch and the usual wee lamp. So people have asked before, have you got plenty of room in the, the solo? And I'm 6'3 and I have plenty of room. Now one thing I am trying out is I um I usually sleep at the other end, so I would usually sleep with my head up here, but my head is gonna be here tonight. Because someone said this end is actually wider. It was in a comment before, so as you can see, that's the head end for your shoulders and then pan round. And that's where your feet are. So, we're getting decent gusts anyway, probably gusts, it's something about 20 mile an hour I think, gusts of 25, but the solo is worth its weight in gold to be honest with you. This is the view for tonight. Just chatting there, we're trying to work out. We've done the seven sevens a couple of years ago. Um, we were trying to work out where we bailed off from Meal Bag, but if you actually just have a look, this is our course basically here. So, oh no, so started off Donard, came up the sorry, Donard Car Park, came up Donard, back down, up Comeda, followed it right round into Hers Gap, then up Burna, which is here, down Burna, this side, up Meal Moor down and then up meal bag down and then cut round here and this is actually the track 
that we got absolutely munched with midges. Anyone doing it that year will know exactly what I'm talking about. It was horrendous to be honest with you. <laughs> there was a few people didn't make it out. Once you've done that, you bailed in, and the next one then was up Binion, and then Lamigan, and then you just made your way back then to Donner, so the 7-7. Seven a bit of dinner, so I'm going to actually just use the gel burner. So, gel. It's my wee burner. It holds the gel. Homemade windshield. What I'll try it out. Spork. And then another one for a coffee tomorrow. So, that's the steak on. Actually stuck it on the wee gel burner. And it's working alright. Now this is a, a fork which is about seven or six or seven inches long. That's the steak. And it's a good three inches thick. It is an absolute monster of a steak. So we're looking forward to cutting into this and having a couple of sandwiches. So the gel seemed to have worked out a treat. Cooking away anyway. All I'm going to do is fry the bread and then have a bit of a sandwich. So took it off a wee bit and just sliced it. Just getting nowhere with the size of it. But it's really looking good. Just gonna flip this and then get it into the, the bread and that's her. Here we go. Didn't turn out too bad. Luckily uh, you can't get food poisoning from steak. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find out. But uh, that's the first one, so we've two to go. I'm currently on a trek here down off the summit just to get my bin bag. Well, it's not even a bin bag, it's a plastic bag. You can just see it there. But I've been walking about five minutes now, trying to get it. It'll be worth it when I have it because it's, it's a piece of plastic off the moorings and it's also somewhere I can stick my bloody rubbish from the steak, which literally has blood all over it. So, oh, I knew this wasn't lost. Never been so happy to see a plastic bag in all my life. This was worth the 5p. Hey, hey! Oh. Now just to climb back up again. Just a wee breather from climbing back up. Look at this. Take you over a wee bit. So, doing all this again just to get back up to the top. There's hardly a pick of wind around here. And then, as we get up here, oh! Scramble up here. This would have been a lot easier a few weeks ago when I was a stone lighter. But I also had long hair back then. And now I have a full COVID 19 cut. Got the bag. That was worth it. Gym the night, first one up, London Dry, 
probably first the worst. Not too keen on it, but she had a wee money sitting there, so I took it. Big Stubo. In the Starbucks cup. This is how you get a million subs. Just wow. We picture him. I'm with a litre between four drinks, so we're doing all right. We'll have one, two, five mil each. <laughs> so it's a wee shot tonight. Four shots and then we're short. high. And then we're probably ready for the kip. Uh, yeah. Find a good wee spot here. Some view. You walk just two meters, you're getting the wind. You come back behind this big monster of a stone. There's nothing. Morning campers! Time to just pack up, it's gone quarter past seven. I think we'll go up about six. So in the middle of packing, but what I have done is I've got the boil on and I'm gonna have a coffee with a new filter and try it out. So one heat tablespoon. I've done a wee bit more just because I like a bit of a strong one. And I've just got the water on a wee flask here because I've boiled it. And then that's her. Let's see if we can get the pond right here. First coffee. In the morns cup, in the morns. Can I get any more morns? Eh? Oh, that is good. Now, that coffee was about five pounds, something ridiculous. That is good. Just need to get that grass out. coffee in the morning. This is inside the solo with no winner. Absolutely mountains of room. Here's a coat. Stretch right out and it's only halfway still all this. It's huge. You could definitely get two people in here if you wanted a lighter weight bomb proof option in the summer or winter. Don't think I'll ever do it but like I'm just actually took the inner out. I'm gonna pack it away in her and outer just because the outer is still a wee bit wet. I don't want to pack them together. But um, there's so much room here. It gives you the option then as well. You don't have to put inner up or anything. You put outer up on these tents. So if you're getting battered, you can just put the outer up, jump in, and then zip it down, get all your gear in, and then put the inner in after, which gives you an option. As always, leave no trace. Apart from the dry patch where the tent was, and that's us. Zero fuse today. <laughs> Have we got? If it changes and the wind drops, I'll get the drone up on the way down. If it's set out, just on the top of my rucksack, just for easy access. But I don't think too much is going to change in the next hour. So it's probably going to be us the whole way back to the car. It took us about an hour and a half to get up here, so I reckon about an hour we'll be back at the car. And this is our 